The Bel Air house is one of the most haunted houses in all of America. There are shadows everywhere. Sweet little Emily Davis. We're not sure if Emily is completely a child. Trust me. Okay, is this Emily talking to us? This house has me questioning my beliefs. New addition to our videos. Why do I have extreme amount of anxiety right now? So I've got. Oh, oh, I got the item I didn't want. 20 minutes. That's not fair. We chose our fate and we have to follow through with it. Have to complete their time or they have to sleep alone. What the hell's up in the attic? The demon girl? She's right behind me. <laughs> Whoa! Did you see that one? Ready? Oh. If it starts to cuss at you, don't be surprised. Thank you. almost worse when you go shh, shh you know that i don't know <laughs> okay youtube so guess where we are right now we're in the attic of the infamous bel air house in ohio which is one of the most haunted houses in america and we're here for you starting october off right yeah october so, 1st we're here in a rainstorm beside the ohio river which is a conductor and apparently we're on a ley line, which is a paranormal hot spot for energy to just go in and out of the house constantly. One of the people who used to live in this house opened 11 to 17 portals. Unknowingly, he got involved in the occult, but he wasn't really well versed. His name was Edwin. His sister unfortunately passed away by the fireplace in the seance room, and he just wanted to reach out to her. So he brought in multiple psychics, mediums, or seers, to try and make contact with her. We don't really know if he knew how to close the portals or the people he was having come in, they didn't know how to close the portals. So yeah, there's a lot going on here. Jacob Hetherington, he was actually the one who originally built this house about 170 years ago, and it has a lot of original features. So Jacob Hetherington actually owned all of the coal mines here in Ohio. And unfortunately, the very first portal is coal mine number one, which is under the house. It exploded. 42 men died. There's a lot going on on the land. A lot of history with indigenous tribes, with French soldiers, and they buried some of the shaman behind the house in the caves. Yeah. So Kristen Lee, the current owner of this house, she experienced some flash floods with her previous home and her family's home. So when this house came up, she thought it was like a blessing. And she's like, oh my God, like this is a new start. Little did she know the history that surrounded this house. So there's another story here about a little girl spirit. Sweet little Emily Davis. But she might not be so sweet. She is actually apparently a different lower energy. Taking the form to bring you in. Apparently she likes to play some games and she wants to get you to trust her and we know better. I guess we'll You see. should know better. We're really excited for you guys to see this video because we're actually staying here for two nights if we make it. I think we will. I paid a lot of money, we're gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kristen Lee is actually gonna be joining us day two for a seance, which is gonna Pretty be sweet. awesome. Glad she's coming. We also have something really fun planned for later. It's gonna be a new addition to our videos and it's a little bit of a challenge, so Stay tuned because we're here to scare the shiza out of ourselves. And you, hopefully. And you, hopefully. We do this for you. <laughs> okay. I talked to nobody, but you're all there. Itself was built around 1850, between 1840 and 1850, and it was built by a gentleman named Jacob Hetherington. He is the patriarch of the family. This house was built for his granddaughter, and her name was Lyde, and she passed away right here uh, in front of the fireplace uh, in this room here. And then her brother Edwin tried to make communication with her, and that's where all the seances and all that started. And through my experience, that's where I really feel that is one of the things that opened up kind of the doorways spiritually to the house yeah. besides the fact that it it sits it does sit on a ley line uh, 
that's where I really feel it opened it up because he was constantly trying to make communication. And most of that was done in this room here. It's one of the reasons we call it the seance room. Uh, we get a lot of different things up here. Usually up here we have a lot of poking, prodding, grabbing, pulling, um, things like that. There is a comfortable bed right there. Yeah, you that's your bed tonight. Yeah. That's your bed. Um, that's my bed for the night there. Yeah. <laughs> and tomorrow. Um, and we also get reports of mostly female um, entities up here, whether it be uh, full apparitions, which has been caught on camera. Up here, we caught one one evening uh, playing the piano. That little kid's piano was over here on the corner. And then uh, there's another one that we're told is like, you only see about half of her, and she hangs out in all of the three gables. She looks a lot older, her skin's more sunken in, more skeleton-like. One of the things with the house is that it's very much its own personality. Um, it does what it wants to do. Sometimes it is really calming and just relaxing and you just want to hang out. And then sometimes you don't even want to touch the door when you come up onto the porch. But in this room here, um, there's a lot more heavier energy that we get told from people that's in here. Either they feel heavy, they feel sick, they want to throw up um, issues with their chest, things like that. We get a lot of that in the house. Um, usually when I'm doing tours and stuff like that, I don't, I don't spend a lot of time in here. For me, it's a heavy room. I always feel real heavy. Like, I feel like, I feel like, right now. like <laughs> crunched down when I'm in here. So I usually don't stay in here. My least favorite room, 100 million percent, was Edwin's. I absolutely hated that room from the minute I walked in. I felt like something was sitting on my shoulders. Um, I basically refused to go in there the entire time I was For me, this was always the lightest room in the house. Like as soon as I walk in, dude, nice. especially from over there, I always feel lighter. And here we get a lot of people that talk, they can hear people walking, hear people talking a lot in this room, shuffling around, standing at the end of the bed or beside the bed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I can hear- It's a calm room. All right, you're gonna sleep with a Jeep. <laughs> it is, it really, it really is the yeah, calm room. Well, at least for me it is. I saw something walk in the hallway. Like I saw the back of their foot. Yeah. The doorway. And we get a lot of that now. There's a lot of yeah. foot traffic and, and sometimes you can it feels like or you can hear sounds like furniture is being slid around up here and stuff like that. So Yeah, yeah, this is This is the Emily Davis room and in here it for me it was always trickster energy, that that kind of feeling. It's hard for me to like say, Oh, this is a heavy room, a dark room because sometimes you come in and it's like really like oh jolly and fun and then sometimes you come in and it's like a kid when they're throwing a tantrum so this room always has that child energy for me uh, does anything ever get moved around in here like has, okay. to, yeah toys mm -hmm. toys, toys <laughs> dolls uh, sometimes you can get emily or any entity sometimes you can get them to spin the pinwheels um, we're not sure if emily is completely a child mm -hmm. or just using that energy to kind of get your get you to put your card down and more often than not that's that's the case when it yeah, comes okay. to family so um don't be more trusty if at any time you feel like you got to go up and sit down or go out on the porch please do i come to find that a lot of investigators that we are a part of either their investigation or talk to them they do a lot of their stuff in this part right here. Okay. Um, I'm not saying that they don't investigate it, but it seems like most everybody just kind of concentrates in this area here. You can see people burn candles, they leave offerings and things down here. This is the bones, this is what's holding it up. This is our basement. Everything is, you know, all this stuff is all original. <laughs> 100 and, yeah. uh, that's the part that amazes me about a lot of it. It's like 170 years old. To me, a lot more of the spiritual energy is very grounded and very earth-like down here. Um, but it can be very, very heavy at times. Um, that's one of the, the biggest things with down here. We found there's a room back in there that goes along the side of the house. And when they would take people to the river to get them onto uh, the boats and onto the different things of that nature, they would take them down through there if they needed to along the side of the house because there's catacombs that run all through the Bel Air oh, okay. down to the river. So they would take them through there right along the side of the house. And out to the river. But there's a lot of different 
energies that come through in this basement. Okay. Similar to what we have in the seance room. Like it's very open down here. Mm -hmm. um, so you would have anything from uh, stuff, that, stuff that makes you laugh, like the house will try and joke with you sometimes. Yeah. Um, I will also warn you that sometimes, um, depending on what type of mood the house is in or what type of communication you're making, if it starts to cuss at you, don't be surprised. <laughs> Um, it will call you names. It will call you very vulgar names. So just be aware of that. <laughs> you don't have to follow this rule. It's a rule that we uh, do when we're investigating. Um, a lot of times if you're using like spirit boxes or anything like that, or if you have a portal box, if it growls at you, if it growls at you three times, we stop. It's the mocking of the, the Trinity, the Holy Trinity. The, you know the father of the son yeah. yeah so it's like that mocking so if you continue you can continue past that third growl if you want but it will get it will and can get very very bad basically from the time i walked in the door i got an instant headache and eventually it just got so bad that i ended up feeling nauseous you gonna be okay tonight? Oh yeah. That's tough. You're <laughs> still gonna go, son? They're not gonna beat me. Nausea would sort of come and go in waves, but it would get so bad to the point that, like, I literally felt like I was gonna vomit, and I had to go outside a few times just to sort of get fresh air and see if the feeling would pass. This is her. So, so I have to leave an offering? Yeah, leave sure. every... When? All of it. Everything in your wallet. <laughs> everything in my wallet? <laughs> everything. Even your driver's license. What do you think of that? It's spooky. It's a doll? Yeah. It's a, it's a goat in a little girl's dress. I think it's cool. I would love to have this in my room. What's it mean? I have to donate? It wants your wallet. No, no. Offer something to I'll, Emily. Your wallet. I'm going to offer you my... Wallet. Not my wallet. You got a dollar? <laughs> I got a dollar. <laughs> I really would like you to really come up to the attic tonight and bother me. She's already up there. She's okay, if up you're there. up in the attic, I want you to bug me tonight. And give me lots of signs that you're there because when I was up there, I didn't feel very good. Emily Davis. I'm gonna give you a dollar for each time you give me a sign upstairs in the attic. That's dollar number one. One sign, two signs to give me another one, and three signs will be whatever happens. I hope it's a good night up there, but I want it to be really scary. We shall move the hospital bed. Yeah, move the hospital bed for me. There's three one dollar beds. One, two, one three. One dollar beds. Get them, Emily. Yeah. Yeah, and I am shaking right now. The first night when we were in the living room, it was Tara and Connie and myself. All of a sudden, we just went silent and we heard a hum. It sounded like a little girl. It was <laughs> very clear, um, literally right beside me. We all heard it, all three of us heard it. Like, here I am, my mom's here, Sherry's here, and boom, the singing is right here, like, and very loud. We're open for communication. You can come sit with us at this table, and we're going to speak to you through our devices. Cross the rods for yes, and then outward for no. Anytime we ask a question. I know how to use those. I use them at work all the time for finding pipes. Here, you know how to use them? I think so. I'm too shaky here. Is it okay that we're staying at your house tonight? Can you open those back up for us? All the way. Were you the one who scared my dad in the bathroom? So concentrated. Oh, that one really went. Wow. <laughs> Can you point to who you want to sleep in the attic tonight? I don't think they'll do a 360. 
<laughs> Fuck. Whoa! Did you see that one? That was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Did you see that one? It went really quick. I don't think they'll do a three six. Okay, you can stop anytime. <laughs> Jesus. Stay, stay, stay still. They're going, my hands didn't even move. Look at. Are you going to be in the attic tonight? Cross for yes or open for no? Someone is visiting you tonight. They want you. These are there. just going nuts. Look at them. Can you point uh, to the person that was feeling sick earlier? Let's point right at Rhonda now. Yeah, Rhonda has been feeling sick since she got here. That one. Oh, two of them are there. They're both pointing at me. Who are you attracted to the most in here? Well, whose energy do you like the, mo the most? You and Sherry. It's me and you, Mom. <laughs> Who do you think is the most afraid? Connie. Yeah, Connie? <laughs> and Connie's out in the living they're room They're both right rates now. going that way. Yeah, they're both pointing at you, Connie. <laughs> she is the most afraid. This is her first real ghost hunt. Holy crap. Turn very fast. What the fuck? <laughs> Did a 360. Um, wow. This is wicked. Okay, I got really bad chills here. <laughs> this is great. I can tell. He's amazed. When I was holding you, you could actually feel it. Like, you Something could feel just them touched drop. the top of my head. You could feel them it's, drawing. I'm not even kidding. Yeah. Something just Oh, it's sticking right up, too. Your hair is sticking up. I just there felt, is a piece I felt like energy. static, you know, when you <laughs> yeah, like drop a balloon on your head, that's what it felt like. The energy from these were unreal. Who are you going to bug tonight? That too. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Whoa! All the of us. So Whoa! Everybody. <laughs> we're going to bug all of us. They already is have. Is that recording? Yeah. Jeez. Uh, that, okay, that's enough for me. <laughs> Do you think you're able to move the ball just a little bit? Make it light up? Or blow out one of these candles? Whoa. Oh. Okay, Boy. thank you. <laughs> That's perfect. Thank you so much. We're staying very still. Like, we're not moving. Who was upstairs in the bathroom with me tonight? Um, do you feel the I just, heard, I just heard a big rumble. Was there a rumble? Um, okay, like, my, like... I just heard a huge rumble in that. It felt like it shook, like, behind yeah. us on the floor. Yes. Yeah. Something went behind me, and look at the goosebumps I have on me right now. Yeah. Did it, like, run behind us? I literally felt my chair, I felt like, it. I felt move it too. from the unevenness I felt of the it floor. Too. That's freaky. I didn't I hear felt anything, it. but I felt something move behind, as if somebody was walking right behind me. It's like, it came, I heard it come from over here. Went around. Yeah, it's like it. I heard a bang. Did you hear that? It. Did you not hear that rumble? Like a. Yeah. I see things like fairly often, but not as often as what I did in this house. So one of the creepiest things about this house is that there are shadows everywhere. Like everywhere you turn, it's like there's a shadow, there's a shadow. Like I saw a little, I don't know, cat sized shadow zoom across the seance room. This is why we're doing these interviews because there was so much that happened that we didn't capture on camera. We felt like we needed to talk about them and let you guys know like there's so much more than what you see in our video. Um, I know several other people saw several other shadows while we were there. I was looking in the mirror when we were eating dinner at the seance table and I saw a hand in the mirror by the door just do this. Nothing was attached to it, it's like it came through the door. Another thing I saw, I was laying on the couch and I was looking into the seance room and I could see under the table and I saw this little black shadow just like peep out from one of the chairs at me and I was just like okay the craziest thing I saw was a full apparition 
of a little girl on the bottom of the stairwell. She was blonde with a white dress and I could see her through the railing post. She was coming down and I just like stopped and I like started giggling because I was like, did I just see that? Did that just happen? So we have a new challenge we're gonna add to our videos. It's called Choose Your Fate. And each of us, except for these two, because they're gonna go in a pair. They're chickens. <laughs> <laughs> no, because we're smart. Each of us are gonna choose a location out of a hat, a piece of equipment out of a hat to take with us, and a time frame. Everyone's gonna take a recorder too, just in case we get EVPs. So we're all gonna do it one at a time. They're gonna take a night vision camera to wherever, whatever location. They're gonna try and contact whatever with the equipment that they take with them. And they have to complete their time or they have to sleep alone. <laughs> really? Yes. Yes. But Grani, if we don't complete it, we get to sleep well, together well, anyway. No. No. You have to, you have to uh, sleep alone. No, you have to be separated. You have uh, to sleep alone. We are, no. The whole thing is so we you better, weren't separating you gotta at all. Complete, <laughs> you gotta complete your challenge. Okay, okay, we have to, Terry. So who's gonna pick first? Bye. Sean can pick first. Don't look. The, this is um. Yeah. You got the, the this, is, this is the equipment. Is that one I got? Yeah, take it. Okay, hey, Rhonda. She's picking for the two of them. Don't look at it. I'm just gonna grab this one, put it in my pocket, and then Tara can. Can I get the last one? Yeah. Of course I do. <laughs> this is the one that scares me. Why me? Location. Carmel, don't the same look order, at it. I guess. I'm not Let me pick a location. I don't want to go last. Okay. You guys, hey. are, gonna the you guys, are, gonna get, you guys are gonna get the nail in the coffin. I, I got one too. <laughs> I just oh, picked one. the last one. Yeah, you're you gonna, do. You're gonna get the nail in the coffin. <laughs> don't open it yet. Well, so I can't even do anything about it. <laughs> oh. And the cheek. Now we have the times. Oh God. This is very bright, guys. Terry, you want to pick first? Yes, I do. Why do I have an extreme amount of anxiety right now? And like, I'm not even doing anything at One. The I'll pick the, I'll pick the time okay. last. You guys pick the next one. Good one, Terry. Okay. So I've got... Oh, what'd you get? Yeah, the attic. You got... <laughs> Show it to the camera. Attic. Okay. The whole place. Karma. Now open your bigger, second biggest one. This is your equipment. I get cat balls. Cat. Oh, that'll be fun because she likes leg up stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Should we all save our time for last? Doll room. Doll room. Oh my god. You're going to get you Oh, I got the item I didn't want. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> The porthole room. The, por the porthole. The portal. Yeah. <laughs> so you can do both rooms, the stairs and the portal. You just want to do that. No, what do you mean the stairs and the portal? It's for these two rooms here. The other two connecting Oh, rooms. I can do those. Okay, and then your piece of equipment. Yeah, that one. You guys are getting the basement. I know it. 20 minutes. I got 20 minutes. You got the longest time. Okay. No, why did he open 20 minutes? <laughs> You were supposed to open the other one. Oh okay. well, you got the longest time. So what's yeah, this you one? Open, you open, you open your equipment. equipment. <laughs> Flashlight. So either you two have the basement or I have the basement. Yes. Oh my okay, gosh, so can we open? Why are you are you open? Open? No, open. Okay, you ready? Basement. ready? Basement. I probably do have it. Oh. Basement. Oh! <laughs> I do have the room. other room. We have this room. Is it? Basement. That's not fair. Yes. You were supposed to get the attic. Uh, why? Nobody we, you that. know what happened? No, you got you the guys, attic, I got the basement. That's exactly, what you said was going to happen. I know, Carl, I know. Because it was our idea, this Carl, game. Because we bought her. I got the envoy. Just open yours. Mm -hmm. Spare talker. <laughs> oh, that's going to creep in on you. <laughs> is yes. it? Yeah. Yeah. Say on room, which is right here. Okay, I'm good here. Ten minutes. Yes. So how did you guys look? Yes. That was they like, looked at the. We should do it over. No, I didn't. Wait, no. Don't, <laughs> don't even. Don't. I'll throw Sorry, you. Page. I'll throw you. Oh yeah, do your time. There's something going on here. How long are you Go going for, Paige? Yes. Well, I got fifteen minutes in the basement. Oh. 
Yes, I got you ten in the doll room. That's Whew. Fair. Daddy, you ten guys minutes. Not How come we say? How come we got? Hey. Bigger you time. Got exactly you guys scary. wanted to do thirty and twenty-five. That could have been you. When you're doing your rooms, you gotta shut the door. Um, no. Yes. I'm claustrophobic. Yeah, but well, you're in a big room. I'm up in the attic anyway. What the <laughs> fuck are you gonna close? I'm in the whole attic by myself. Nobody's gonna bother her. Uh, well, I'm willing to trade. I'm happy. Can, I, can we, we can trade or no? No. no. Okay. We we chose you our fate. Whip, man, if you want. <laughs> no, we chose our fate and we have to follow through with it. You guys did the best. Yeah, we, we did. What? We they got the best. Got the easy 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 you know what? The door, they can run out the door. We're stuck upstairs. No. Yeah, if I Dad. got a problem, what am I gonna do? Fall down the attic stairs? Probably head first. I'm like the demon girl. I'm in the basement. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, well, okay. what the hell's up in the attic? The, movie, the demon girl. Do you remember the movie the? And you feel horror in the basement where it come out of the out of the out of the out of the, out of the, out of the fire? Uh, out of the, uh, no, no, they uh, open the bricks up with a porthole. Yeah. It was a devil. Was a yeah. Yeah. He calls a portal a porthole. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had a porthole the night upstairs. <laughs> what do you mean? What happened to you upstairs? Well, tell I tell was us. Going to the bathroom upstairs. <laughs> Because I've been on this stupid diet for the last two weeks. What do you mean, stupid? You're diabetic. I'm a di type 2 diabetic. <laughs> you need to be on it. It's no lie. This is 100% truth. I'm not lying. I was sitting there going to the bathroom, and all of a sudden, everything just flew off the window and landed in the tub, and I almost shit myself. <laughs> no, you did. I did shit myself, but three times at least. <laughs> That's no lie. Show me I'm not what... lying, I swear, Connie. It all flew right in the tub. That's what they say. Show me what happened. Now I was here and this stuff come all off, all off the windowsill and flew right in, right there. Mm -hmm. All into the tub. All that. And that bottle there too. <laughs> That's no lie. That's what really happened. I'm not lying. I'm... <laughs> I was in here probably 20 minutes and the window's not open. <laughs> That's no lie. They chose you when you were vulnerable. They knew you were, you know. Yeah. I couldn't run. Yeah. You were stuck there. <laughs> I was stuck there, all right. Sitting duck. Sitting duck. On the gosh. toilet. No, that's true. That's a that's a hundred percent true. Moral of the story: Do not poop in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. Moral of the story: Don't go to the bathroom alone tonight. You're sleeping alone. Who's going with you? You're sleeping alone, whether you finish this or not. Where am I sleeping? In the attic. In the attic. <laughs> you lucked out with the portal room, Where so you, you can sleep in the attic. That you've been gonna sleep? In the oh, attic, I guess. I'm base. sleeping in the attic. We hit record? Yeah. Gruesome. 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 What? So, you know what happened in the room? Somebody Live. died. Live yes. died right there on the floor. Yes. Great. Already starting. All right. And the lights are not even off. If we're going to go to the attic, goodbye. Bye. You can see night vision? I can see night vision. All right. Bye bye. Is there anyone here with us right now? Communicate. Communicate. Somebody want to communicate with us? Just me. What? Uh, you need to walk and talk so we can tell you when to start. I've start. already started. No, you gotta wait two weeks to walk and talk, uh, remember? Oh, I don't know where it is. No, I brought it. I had it with me. You guys gotta restart as soon as I tell you. All right. I'm just gonna leave that there. All right. Okay. Hurry up. Go. Black in here. Oh, it's not. Not all goddamn light on the side. Died. Well, the spare talker just said died. We just started here. There was a woman that died here, right by the fireplace. Wow, okay. Are you trying to tell us something? 
happening in Joel's story? Yeah, I shared it in a while ago. That's a good one. Can you give us a sign that you're here? Okay, guys. Ten minutes. Start now. Okay. <clears throat> We've already started. Oopsie. Don't go anywhere, Sherry. I can't see you. I'm just trying to get a different view. Can somebody give us a sign, please, that they're here? We're around the seance table. You like to join us in this room? We would like to talk to you. Angry. Angry. Who's angry? Is there someone angry? Can you please tell us who? It's creepy when it's quiet. Mm-hmm. Is there a little girl here with us? Who's the other names? I don't know the other names. Um, Emily is a little girl. Why does she know? She's dangerous. Oh. She's dangerous. Oh. <laughs> Why would you say that? Is, <laughs> is Emily dangerous? Goosebumps going <laughs> from my toes all the way up to my head. It says she's dangerous after I said, Is Emily here? Oh my god. I don't think I like this choose your fate thing very much. Okay, we're not here. To cause you any problems. We just want to talk to somebody. Portal. Portal. How many portals are in this house? Can you tell us how many portals are in this house? I heard there was 10 to maybe 17. Creepy with the curtain close. You have a camera pointing at me. How are you feeling, guys? <laughs> oh, you okay. scare me. Um, Would Emily like to come and talk to us? There's lots of toys to play with. I'm really here. Well, thank you. We don't mean you any harm. Can you give us a sign that you're here? Tap on the wall, make a noise. So 10 minutes up yet? No, I'm 10 minutes is enough yet. We only got like two gone. Oh my God. Oh my God, there's two of them double their time. <gasps> there's two of them, yeah. Double their time. Double the time. Sure. And we'll just be like, yeah, that's what that's, that's what was supposed to happen. Yeah. <laughs> They'll be so pissed. That's why we'll do twenty minutes on that. There's a recorder on the table. If you'd like to talk into that. Maybe we'd be able to hear if you have anything to say. There's little lights over in the... Need help. Need help. You need help? How could we help you? Trust me. Okay, is this Emily talking to us? Or is this somebody else disguising themselves as a little girl? If this is a little girl and we'd like to help you, we can help you. Just let us know what we need to do. Hello. 
Hello, Emily. Is that you? Something else you'd like to tell us? Explore. You want us to explore the house? Can you give us a sign that you're here? Can you make a noise? Can you knock on the wall? I can use my voice. Oh my God. I can use my voice. Okay, we have a recorder. Would you like to speak into the recorder? It's just on the table here. Please use your voice. Speak into the recorder. Effort. Effort. Use all your energy. Take energy from our camera to try and do it. Can you show yourself? <clears throat> the house. The house. The house. Are you in the house right yes. now? Can you show yourself here in the house? I'm waiting. I'm wa looking for you. We're waiting for you to use your voice. Person. 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 You want to show us what you used to look like? There's a mirror there if you'd like to show yourself in the mirror. Can you show yourself in the mirror to us? Emily, if that's you, there's a little doll carriage Are there. You frightened? Are you frightened? I am a little frightened because it's dark in here. Should we be afraid? Who are we speaking to? We don't want to be afraid, but this place is a little spooky. We don't mean any harm. We just want to communicate with you. Are you still here? He's coming. Oh my God. He's coming. Um, who's coming? Is this Edwin that's coming? Edwin, are you here with us? watch it and like you little bastards so have me every 10 minutes. No. My mom's gonna disown me. Edwin, are you here with us? Annie. 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 Who's Annie? Is there an Annie here with us right now? Did something happen to you, Annie? Kill you guys. That's them, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. <laughs> what is that I was going through. Did you guys ever fucking do that? Are you ready, bitches? Are you ready, bitches? Where's my phone going? I can't see. Okay. Where's the light? Uh. That's fucking Tara. <laughs> Tara, I'm going to kick your ass. Did no. I, did I scare you? Yeah. Fuck. We fucking jumped, Chris. Oh, no. She was recording, I hope. I'm not doing it again. Are you frightened? He's yeah. coming. Inside. I was conjured. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no. I swear to God. Paige. What? Let's turn the recorder off. I swear to God. We said, is Emily here? We'd like to speak with Emily. And then what did it say, Connie? Oh, she bumped me to show me. It said she's dangerous. And I had chills from my toes all the way to my head. Apparently she is. I know. I know that story. I need a smoke. <laughs> Connie kept saying, 10 minutes up here. 
I scared Did you walk around? She she's dangerous. After I'm talking about Emily and then the thing she's she's dangerous came up. Well, she is apparently. And then they asked us if we're frightened. Yeah. So what do I ask? Lincoln? I don't know any of the spirits' names. Or... This is the portal, okay? There's a portal behind that picture. There's a portal going through the middle of the room. Ask them to use the flashlights. Can you make the flashlight light up? Oh, yeah. What was that? What? What was that? What? There's a little girl's voice behind me. I heard it too. I heard like a ugh. Is that what you meant? No. She said something. She was right behind me. Emily, right? She said something. Yeah, and when I said you, you said don't, she said something. I have chills all up my face. She was right behind me. I heard what sounded it was like sounded a, like a very small child. Like a uh, or something sound. It what sounded I like a word. So don't mention her? Don't mention Emily? I wonder if she wants to come in here though. Well then go ahead. I should mention her name, but she's the one that was probably fooling around me upstairs. She plays tricks. That was creepy. Emily. Oh, why did that have to happen before mine? Okay. So let me know when to begin. Yeah, I will. Give me the word on the walk. Remember this flashlight's use them. full disembodied voice in her You don't want to know what I just heard down there. There's a little girl behind me. She said something. Okay, I'm gonna tell her. Where was she? Right behind me on the couch. Was it not over there? Yeah. I guess we just came downstairs. That's who just came downstairs then. Is there any spirits here with us in the Beller House? This is John. I come all the way from Toronto to see you. If there's any spirits here, please give me a sign by lighting up the flashlights, please. Can you light up the flashlight on the fireplace? Emily, can you light them up? We're at the Bel Air house here. Apparently, there's. Whoa, what was that? Can you light the. I got you. Can you make this. Spirit box go off or one of the can you light the flashlights up please? Can you light the flashlights up or play the piano? Can you light the flashlight up and give us a sign you're here, please? Or can someone just touch me or play hide and seek, Emily? Is there no active activity in this room? Because I'm waiting and you like the flashlights out. Please. Can you turn them off? There's no activity here at all right now in this portal room. Can you play the piano and give us a sign? 
Emily. Emily, are you here with us? Can you give me a sign, knock on the wall, or come down the stairs? Oh, I just seen an orb. Okay, what's that? Can you light your flashlight up, please? Can you sing? We heard you humming earlier. We heard you humming earlier. Okay, I'm gonna sit down. Okay, I'm just gonna sit here till something happens. Can you come down the stairs? Oh, there's another orb. There's lots of orbs in the other piano room there. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. There's been some orbs in here. Um, in the piano room, but there's not much happening right now. Um, there's a few orbs around. The flashlights ain't going off. Can you light the flashlights off? I just heard a noise in the kitchen. I'm going to sleep in the attic tonight, Emily. Do you want me up in the attic? Let me see here. Okay. He's laying in here. Can you show yourself? Got four minutes left. I need something here. Um. I don't know what's going on. I've asked if they're turning the flashlights or not going on. I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. So. Was that? What the hell was that? Turn the flashlights on. We have the room clock. Oh. Thank you. Finally got a flashlight. Can you turn the flashlight off? Please turn the flashlight off. Can you turn the flashlight off? Off. One, two, thank you. Okay, on the last minute, I got one light to go off. Can you find my scene here? Last one. Can you do another one of those work? On the walkie-talkie? Yeah, what? Did you hear it on the walkie-talkie? Yeah, I heard it on the walkie-talkie. It jumped down. <laughs> <laughs> I told him. But, I told her. Um, Nothing really happened. Like, only the one light went on by the piano. And uh, there was a few orbs going around. That was it. There was a couple of creeks, but it could have been the house because it's old. But there was no, I asked for knocks. They asked to give me a sign. They asked Emily to come in. And 
No book, no go. She was right behind me. I think she wants me in the eye. Tara? Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. So you and I can do ours tomorrow because it's the scariest places. Yeah, after it gets all Tara, are you doing yours tonight? Yeah. Okay, yeah. she's next then. I'll change battery. Okay. I won't take the walkie-talkie because I don't want to type like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah walkie-talkies trigger REM pods. We don't need that. He's already touching the mirror. Are you ready? No. What just happened downstairs? I don't know if we can get the security footage from her, but hopefully we can to see what happened to you. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Not okay, so basically what had happened was we were getting ready to um, do something. We were setting up for something. Um, Paige had actually called me into the seance room when I was in the living room. I had stood up from the couch and I just felt a pressure on my back. And before I knew it, I was just on the ground, like literally fetal position like this, like hysterically laughing because I didn't know how else to react. I didn't know what just happened or what was going on. and. Paige's dad saw the whole thing and was just like, are you all right? Are you like, are you laughing or are you crying? <laughs> I should have been crying probably. I truly believe I was pushed. I know it's pitch black in here, but this is way better than Girls Week because I can actually see through this camera. Because I have it on night vision and it has some sort of light. I also only have to do this for 10 minutes. Which is phenomenal. Oh, something already creaked over here. Is there anyone in here with me? Are there any children here? If there are any children here, I have this wonderful device on the floor here that you can sit off. Something's creaking over here. Can you creak that again? If that's you. I'm kind of glad they shut the door because I don't want to see it into the hallway. Can you make the REM pod go off for me? Imagine if one of these toys moved. Oh my god. I'll be out. But if you don't do your time, your ass sleeps alone. Which is absolutely terrifying. Oh, there's that creaking again. I hope you can hear that on the camera. You probably can hear it on the recorder, actually. It's really loud. Are there any children here? If there's any children here, can you touch the light on the ground? The big red light? I didn't set off the red pot, that's surprising. Those creepy ass dolls. This one's the scariest. I don't want to go near the REM pod I don't want to set it off and scare the Jesus out of myself. I think this camera is way closer than where I actually am, so it's like weird to walk because I feel like I'm going to bump into something, but I also think it's a lot farther away than I think. Is there anyone in this room with me? I like your dolls. This one. Oh, another bang. Is that you? Can you bang for me again? Kind of glad I got this room. It's much less uh, scary than some of the other options. My time's almost up. Halfway there. Nothing so far has really happened other than the creaks. 
there's another bang and then well, it's the fireplace. So I don't know, like that's weird that there's all this weird noise coming from the fireplace. I wonder if that's like a house issue. Nothing with the rim pod. I didn't want that because first of all it's works when it feels like it. Um also it scares the shit out of me if it just went off. My mom, Paige's mom, and her Aunt Rhonda are all sleeping in this room tonight, all three of them, because they have a bunch of chickens. I'm really close to under the bed I don't want to be, because what if something grabs me? Can you make a noise for me if you're here? There's a little creek, but no old house. Apparently these dolls and toys like to move and stuff. We're yet to witness that. But we've witnessed some pretty creepy shit in this house so far. But nothing out of the ordinary right now. Apparently these here, they go and they spin by themselves. Could you spin the wheels for me? You just have to blow on them and they'll spin. I don't know you're here for sure. The music box is going off and we're not near it. The light? No, because it was going off when I had my back turned. Go back upstairs. Go play with Tara. It's flashlight time. Go back upstairs and turn that flashlight off. I wonder if these like toys. Also, just so you're aware, I didn't get the walkie-talkie because I got the REM pod. And it interferes and actually sets REM pods off. So they're just gonna come get me. My attendance is up and they still haven't come for me. That's how you know. Never trust them. They're coming for me now. Tara? Yeah. You're good? Yeah, nothing happened. Well, you did it. I did it, but nothing happened. <laughs> now it's you and I tomorrow night. Oh, great. Basement and attic. The room we stayed in was a doll room, and it smelled like rotten eggs. It smells real bad in here. Sleeping in here You're sleeping in eggs. here with the egg smell. You know the egg smell? I know. We were so tired that at that point we didn't care and we didn't know what it was. We needed to stay in that room because our other sister didn't want to sleep by herself and there was enough room for three of us. Uh, the smell did go away, but it was it was a very bad smell. I'm heading up to the attic. I don't want to sleep here. But I have to. Why? <laughs> because Emily's up there and she wants to talk to me. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna last though, to be honest with you. Good luck. Oh. <gasps> Did you hear that? No, what? Oh, I have my headphones in. Okay. I don't know what it was, but it's Emily, she wants me to... There was massive bangs in the attic. Yeah. Running. Aunt Ron is screaming she heard that. Who's staying in this room? Tara and I. You guys staying in there? Oh, it stinks in here. You guys staying in there? Well, where else are we gonna sleep? There was running in the attic Whoa, just now. Ever. Did you fart? No, it's the demon. Tara. Liz. There was running in the attic. Did you hear that? I heard crazy it, yeah. thumping. I heard it. Yeah. Who, is this where you guys are sleeping in there? Yeah. Yeah. Apparently. Why? Yeah, I can't believe you're sleeping up there. Was so there was just oh, running up there. Like full, full speed running. I hope I got on camera. Everybody was talking at the same time. The first night I slept in the attic, I experienced someone coming up the stairs, running like footsteps across the floor. At the Bel Air house, and I'm actually going to sleep tonight upstairs in the attic. That's Hopefully, it. 
They will turn on the cat balls and they will make my night really good. Have fun. Bye. I gotta stop? Yep. Jerking. It was quite scary. I didn't want to do it, but I did. I just didn't feel right in that house. It was weird. Did you push me? Don't go. Don't go where? I just heard a woman's voice, but I couldn't make it out. Did you die here? Or are you just passing through? Do you like jokes? Do you knock, wanna... knock. Fuck you. The, the, her husband told us earlier today that they will swear at us. Yeah. And that they're very vulgar. Yeah. Why are you being so mean? I love who you are. Something you. Something you. Maybe they're swearing at us again. Do you not want to hear any jokes? I thought you liked jokes. It's him. Who it's is, him. Who is he? Who is he? Does he not like jokes? Who resides in this house? You and me. That's creepy. Right now, yes, you're right. We're here. And who are you? Hey. Hello. Hey. Damn it. What's wrong? Are you upset? Are you upset with us or something? Anybody? You did. We did what? Me. What we do to you? I thought we were nothing but nice to you. I just got really cold. Took my one leg towards you. Are you close to me? I'm cold. Just Who are you? <laughs> I literally just said I, I was cold. Tell you my name, but you well, I got chills there. I'm just a visitor. We're just visitors. Is that okay? We're just passing through. Are you also passing through? Again. This portal here. I hear you. I keep looking at the stairs. 
I keep thinking something's at the top of it, just like watching us. Can you tell us where you are? Can you see us? Are you on the stairs? Sherry. What about Sherry? Maybe what are they that, doing upstairs? Maybe that's where they are because it smells up there like eggs, like sulfur. Oh, yeah. sulfur. Did anything make sense? Yeah. yeah. I got cold and you said I'm cold. Yeah, and what just happened, we were like, where are you, Sherry? And she got out of, and then she got out of bed. Yeah. Yeah. That's freaky. Yeah. <laughs> there wasn't a lot. Like, there were, was long pauses in between. Yeah. But, like, everything pretty much makes sense. Like, and then Paige was like, do you like jokes? And I'm like, knock, knock. You're like, fuck you. And remember when he said that they'll swear at us and be vulgar with us? The yeah. owner? I got chills now. Yeah. I yeah. like it. It was good. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> house is not for the faint of heart. If you are easily spooked, I do not recommend staying there, especially for a multitude of evenings. Um, I think some of our um, members were done after night one. This house has me questioning my beliefs. So I got 15 minutes in the basement. <laughs> You're not with her. No. I'm not going down there. You're not with her. You don't want to do something that's going to be unsafe. Demon. Are you the demon? I'm original. Demon. We don't need to be down here. I could see her through the railing post. Oh, that's Emily. She's blonde? Yeah. So did I see a demon? No, I was I didn't touch it. It was fully turned around and open, like something was looking in, into it. Did you see that? Total darkness here, guys. Just felt like pure hate. Whoever comes here next, good luck. 